Just starting off, Coach, thoughts on tonight's game? Yeah. yeah, you're fine. Just um, well, first of all, so I just, it's, it, was a, it was a crazy day with the weather. And first off, I need to thank the alumni that showed up, students that showed up, uh, fans that showed up. It was a pretty cool environment. It was really cool. The alumni, we had an awesome showing. And for me as a new coach, it was really cool to just reconnect with alumni and, and things like that. Uh, so first and foremost, that, that, uh, I have to say thank you for, for coming and welcoming back the alumni. It was awesome. Um, for the game, uh, listen, I, I thought we dominated the game. Uh, we started off slow and we gave up a goal in the first minute. And then thereafter, I thought we, we did fairly well. Um, you know, they're a well-coached team. It's a really good staff and they, those boys play. Um, but I think our guys did really well. Um, we created a lot of chances and, uh, you know, a little lucky we missed a penalty kick to win the game. Uh, but, you know, and on the tape, it's tough because got a penalty kick called against us. And it was a, it's a tough call when he wasn't even in the box for that. Um, so it's a tough one. So but all in all, really proud of the boys. Um, we are making really good uh, progress. So pleased with that. Yeah, and you mentioned the weather and the lights. How do you get your guys ready and deal with that when it's completely oh, out of your control? You, you know what? It's a, it's a really good, good group of guys. I mean, the fact that they were able to deal with the weather delay, we, we go down and go in the first minute, come back, we play the way we played, and then all of a sudden score a goal. And we go up 2-1 and then the light shut off on us and uh, things like that. Um, and then, you know, and, and then they just have the resilience to keep fighting. I mean, it, it, a lot of credit to the guys. It's a, it's a good leadership group. Um, they, they, they're, I give them credit, it's great. And Guillermo had eight shots tonight and two goals. Uh, <laughs> what did you see out of him tonight that led to that kind of aggressive? No, I mean, listen, he, he's been working all week and just kind of, uh, you know, being an important piece in the attacking third for us. And he showed that tonight. I mean, he was, he was class tonight. Um, he helped us out a lot. Um, and once we went to one, felt like we wanted to kind of, you know, make sure we're a little bit more defensive a little bit, but uh, he was good tonight. Um, you know, it was, it was a good team work in general, but uh, he was on fire. And then just lastly, quick turnaround Tuesday, Drexel's coming. What are your thoughts heading Yeah, I mean, college soccer is like this, right? You have these games, you got to rest up, you got to do, you know, uh, scout and, and get prepared for the next game. And that's the good and bad of, of college soccer at times. But, um, you know, I know a little bit about Drexel. Uh, they're a good team. They play. Uh, it will be a good challenge for us. And it's nice that we'll be back at home uh, with a little bit of rest that we have. So.